Cage Siders. A man who was watching uh, that that show closely was a guy they call the Swarm, one of the strongest guys. This guy, he looks like an action figure. He looks like a yeah. superhero. He's got yeah. like a 24-pack. You know, yeah. he's always, uh, you know, w- working out, posting stuff and everything. Man, it's a guy, you know, uh, if I wasn't older than him, I would want to be him when I grew up. Uh, you still uh, could be. There's time. We're joined by <laughs> Bellator fighter Linton Vassal. Linton, how you doing today, man? I'm good. Thank you very much. 24-pack, eh? Hey? <laughs> man i'm telling you it, you know every time i see a post on instagram or twitter i want to go uh do some sit-ups brother you <laughs> you know i can't believe you're just a couple of months younger than i am but i you know man what is the the secret do you do you just eat clean year round do you just you know have you always been had this uh physique about you no to be honest um what, what, what actually got me i'll say in the, in the in the great shape is actually eating clean. Like that's a big part. A lot of people don't really. I don't think understand. Yeah. Uh, eating clean helps a lot. And um, I started doing um, it's probably over about seven years ago now. But strength conditioning. Like, I wasn't doing strength conditioning. I was just lifting weights um, back in the day when I first started. Right. Uh, but I, I thought that was the right thing, but it, it's, it's not. It's actually like um, strength conditioning where obviously using battle ropes, you know, using your own body weight to do like squat jumps, pull-ups, um, box jumps, all that type of stuff, sprints as well. Um, but, yeah, I, that's what I found really helped, um, and I noticed a change in my body as well. Um, but I say I eat, I eat clean all year round, um, and my friends, they actually like say like oh you don't want to eat this don't want to eat that but you know for me that's that's it's, it's a way of life not just um, because you've got a fight coming up eat clean for me it's it's a, a, a yearly thing. Well, what kind of advantage does that give you? Because a lot of guys they they go into camp and they got to cut. Some of them are cutting thirty, forty pounds. You know, do yeah. you hover around your fight weight? Um, right now, um, when I weighed myself, I was two hundred and thirty. Four um, pounds. Um, so for me, that, I think that's that's perfect. Right. Always try and keep around the two, the two thirty, you know, two two thirty four, um, round about that. And then when it does come to fight camp, I don't really have much much to lose. Right. So I know you were uh, paying a close attention to the uh, Liam McGeary, Vadim Nimkov fight. Uh, first, I mean, there's a guy in, in, in Liam McGeary that, you know, of course, you face, you beat, uh, but yeah. also a guy that you respect and everything. What did you see in this fight? I mean, were you surprised at, at Liam's uh, strategy uh, against uh, Vadim? Yes. Um, I didn't expect the fight to go like that, to be honest. Um, but obviously, you know, um, it, it, um, Vadim had a, a great um, game plan, you know, work that, work that leg. Um, and put the pressure on, which it, it worked. And I think he threw the overhand quite a lot, and I, I noticed that connected quite a lot on Liam. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I was surprised, but um, I went straight to Twitter and said, you know, that's the fight I want next. I feel like I don't have an opponent right now. I don't have a match right now or a date. Um, I'm, I'm fitting healthy, really. After, after my last fight, um, you know, I went straight back to the gym a couple of days after. So I haven't really stopped training. I had to take a couple of days off the other day just to sort of, so I don't burn out. I, I, I want to fight. That's all it is. Um, I want to I fight. But, yeah, I was watching that fight um, very closely. So for the average fan, we see a, a fighter when they're in the ring. We see, obviously see the, what happens as a result, but we don't know too much about what happens during recovery. So your, your yeah. last fight was, was a bit difficult for you. You took an L on that one. What was your recovery like just for the average fan who, to, just to humanize the process of what goes on uh, with an, an, a combat fighter? Um, for me, I just went back, um, went home, had some food, <laughs> had a couple of rest, had a few days rest. I was back in the gym on Tuesday. Like, so is there a medical me, process after that? So immediately when you walk out of the ring, 
uh, they check you out, and yeah. then you go straight home. Well, you went. Did you go straight home, or did you spend some time in in the hospital or with medical staff? Yeah, uh, to be honest, I wasn't even hurt. It was a poor, poor um, performance by me. Obviously, you know, Bader got the job done. Um, but the doctors just said, um, 30 day suspension in, like, you can't obviously take no headshots or fight. So I wasn't sparring. I just went back and just, you know, drilled on um, holes in my game. Like, obviously getting up, um, defense, all that, all that type of stuff. Um, I don't like to lose, so I take losing very seriously. Um, I went straight back and I said I just corrected little things. But I wasn't hurt in the fact where, you know, I ha had to go to hospital. So I, did, I, did, I didn't actually have to go to hospital or nothing like that. Well, you started uh, in MMA 20, uh, 23 years old. You know, I yeah. mean, what was, what was that mindset like? What was that choice? What, uh, what went into that choice, that decision? Um, it's, it's crazy. Um, my friend, um, Cliff Hall, he was at, at the time, he was an MMA fighter. Um, and he was always telling me to go to the gym because I'm a big guy and um, I like wrestling, like actually wrestling in like WWE. Type. Nice, okay, um, all right. But, <laughs> so I'm always messing around <laughs> and he was always saying, come to the gym, you'll like it. And I had no interest, seriously. He asked me probably about 10 times and I said, no, nine. And then from the 10th <laughs> time he actually did say, come, I, I went. But the story to that was we actually started wrestling. He, he was like, oh, let's have a play fight. So we ended up play fighting. And what happened, I picked him up, and I ended up throwing him to the ground. Um, and he woke up about 30 seconds later, and he was like, <laughs> you have to come to the gym. Um, so, yeah, after, after that, I went to the gym, and I pretty much did the same. Um, everyone at the gym, um, pick him up, throw him to the floor, and just, you know, at the time, using my strength and just doing what I could. And then um, my my coach, Sammy Batten, um, back back in England, was like, you have to, you know, you have to. Um, maybe they didn't have to, but he said, what do you think of having a fight? And six, I think it was about six months later, um, I actually had my first um, my first fight. And then I, did, I didn't look back. Like, 11 years later, 12 years later, I'm, I'm still here doing it. I love that. Hey, you know what? I'll just show up at a gym. Right. I'll beat some guys up. and then, yeah, 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 you know what? I'll just do this as a living, man. I'll hang it. Most guys don't have a career like that. Afterwards, you come in as a complete novice, but now you've got a career that's spanned a decade. You you got some special stuff there, man. Yeah, seriously. Well, it was. And I say, like, I was always just play fighting as a, as a kid. <laughs> I knocked a guy out play fighting. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it was, though. I, I literally <laughs> My friends come around, we just mess around, just, you know, I'm bigger than you, you're bigger than me, whatever, let's, and it is what it is. Big kids, but um, in a way, it's weird, but it's like I was already training for it, if you know what I mean, um, but without <laughs> taking any headshots. Um, yeah, and I literally just went to the gym and did that, and they were like, how how do you just come to the gym and just, with no, with no background? And um, end up doing this to everyone. But, yeah, it was sort of like um, a hidden talent I had, if you know what I mean. So when you finally reach the end of your MMA career, do you think you could one, in, uh, one day end up in WWE? Do you think that's an option? It, 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 it always has been an option, yes. Oh, that's man. That's pretty much what I wanted to I wouldn't say what I wanted to do, but that's what I was looking, you know, oh, I'd love to be. A WWE superstar. I would love so, to yeah. see that. I would love, you know, because <laughs> it's such it's such uh, opposites. Because you're as big as you are. This morning, I got to speak with uh, WWE Women's Champion Alexa Bliss, who oh, was wow. in studio, yeah. and she's all of yeah. five foot, maybe. I and uh, yeah. so to see you guys, I think you know, right there, that could be a tag team. Yeah, there you go. Hi, hey, uh, Alexa. Let's let's make it happen. <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe. Maybe call her and tell her I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the men and women of WWE are in town for Elimination Chamber. They'll be at T-Mobile Arena. And you know what, man? Yeah. Well, maybe we'll have to put you on a red eye and get you run in, hit, hit somebody with a chair. Oh, oh uh, sign me up. Sign me up. <laughs>
So clearly, judging by your accent, uh, you didn't grow up in Dallas, Texas, uh, or in Brooklyn, New York. (laughs) No. Where are you from, and where do you train out of? Do you spend any time in the U.S.? Funny enough, I'm born born in England, London, England, um, but um, I'm I'm actually living in Florida right now, South Florida. I've I've been here nearly two and a half years. Um, I, I trained... You, you would have known them as the Black Zillions at the time. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm not with the Black Zillions anymore. Um, but I am with um, the head striking coach that was part of the team, Henry Hooft. Right. Yeah. So we're, we're at another gym called Hard Knocks 365. Okay. Hard Knocks 365. Uh, yeah. That, that, that's, that's where I train um, out of. Like Stefan Strews there, um, Vulcan Uzdemir. Um, Usman, um, Kamara Usman, Michael Johnson, Michael Chandler, you know, we have a, we have a big, big name of, of fighters um, train out of there. Now, I mean, like uh, Cassandra said, this is your 10th year at MMA. You know, you're a veteran now, a few title fights, things like that under your belt. How, you, how do you uh, keep things fresh in the gym to, to give you those new looks and those new wrinkles to your game? Seriously, they, it's the losses that, that give me that kick up the arse. Like, I was so confident I was going to win this fight against Bader, so confident. Um, obviously, it, 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 didn't go, it didn't go my way. And then the next day, I was so pissed, like, that I didn't, you know, I, I knew I was better, win or lose, I knew I was better than that performance. Um, mm. But that, that lit a fire under my arse. And, you know, I want to be a champion, um, so that that obviously boosts me, and I just love, as I say, it's it's fighting, but I love competing. Right. Uh, I love grappling. I love the striking. I, I love it all. I love the strength conditioning part. Like just, that. That's that's me. If, if I don't train, I feel like um, I'm missing out on something. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely the fact that um, I'm very competitive. So I, I want to win all the time, even if it. Uh, a scramble, or if it you punch me twice, I need to punch you three times. Then, you know, even if it's a, if it's a card game, anything. Seriously, um, I, I want to win. But we know not to be play fighting with you. Yeah, don't play fight with this guy. <laughs> no, I'm I'm knock you out. Fight. <laughs> Ain't no playing fighting. I no, no, it's, I can't play fight with no girls. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I, <have to> win. <laughs> I tell them in advance. I, I let them know if we're gonna start play fighting. Um, I'm going to win. <laughs> there you go. Well, Linton, I know you're a busy guy, man. Thank you so much for taking time, joining us today. We uh, we loved having you on, man. You're you're uh, hilarious, man. So, uh, you know, we'll talk Thank to you, you soon. We'll talk to you. Uh, as soon as there's fight news that comes out with uh, Scott Coker and Bellator, we'll, we'll have you back on to talk about your fight. Cool? And um, get hold of Alexa, yeah? Nice one. <laughs> yeah. We'll get a hold of Alexa Bliss, Linton Vassal, The Swarm. You know, yeah. there you go. I like yeah, it. No <laughs> UK invasion, mate. UK invasion. <laughs> nice talking to you guys. Thank you.